Still making our way to Peacock. Now this clip assumes that you've found comfort in that extreme stretch of the wrist. You've been able to understand how to create cleavage. You've, been com you've become comfortable with digging the elbows into the gut. And you've even played a little bit with rodeo peacock, so you have a sense of the weight in that position. Now, I referenced something in that last clip, and I'll reference it again in this clip called rooster fingers. What we mean by rooster fingers is when your hands are underneath you, supporting you, there can be this little suction of the fingers. It's similar to when you're playing in other arm balances or a handstand. It just gives this tactile sensitivity that somehow helps the balance. Now, we've discovered around here at Lulu Bundas that having your elbows slightly separate, okay? Casey Murphy, who kicks around here once in a while, although usually he's out in Moab, Utah, likes to do it with his arms out, okay? And other people find that hand forward works better for them. Okay, so the picture book shows Peacock like this. But as we've been talking about for a long time, it's just a picture. Okay. Taking it a little further, knowing that you have lots of options with your hands. Create cleavage. Maybe bringing your elbows together or not. Start to lean forward. Okay. Get comfortable with the elbows digging into the guts. Let the head drop. All right. From here, if appropriate, let your legs reach back. Now, from here, which can be really nice, is if you'll notice, you've got little, you can drive with your feet a little bit here, rocking your weight forward and back. Rocking your weight forward and back, just like you've been already practicing on your wrists. With your elbows digging into your gut, rooster fingers, let your head start to lift, rock your weight forward, ding, as you rock your weight forward, let your legs lift. Let yourself come back. Forehead. Shake it out a little bit. See how that goes? Let us know. Love.